What is a cybersecurity manager? Today, we're going to be giving a high-level overview of what this role really is within the cybersecurity realm. We're going to be talking about job responsibilities, degree requirements, certifications, and even salaries. Let's jump right into it so we can have the discussion. Let's talk. Welcome back to Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. And today, we're jumping right into it, talking about what a cybersecurity manager is. A little bit of background about myself is that I've been a cybersecurity consulting manager or cybersecurity manager for a little under three years. And here I want to share some of my experience and what this role really is and how it fits into organizations and what the day to day tasks are. You might be newer to cybersecurity and you might be planning your steps in how you are looking to go forward in your cybersecurity career. So hopefully cybersecurity manager might be one of the ones that you're interested in. So let's jump right into it and let's talk about titles. You know, I'm saying cybersecurity manager, but it could sound like a lot of different other types of roles within organizations. Those might include, like I mentioned, cybersecurity manager, cybersecurity consulting manager. That's the role that I serve in security manager, um, information manager or information security manager or infosec manager, information system security manager and even more. So there are a lot of different titles for a cybersecurity manager, um, and those are a good list of what some of the most common ones are. What do they do exactly? One thing that cybersecurity managers do is that they commonly lead an organization cybersecurity program. They typically will have some level of direct reports and they oversee the development and implementation of security protocols, defenses, workforce and compliance for an organization. These cybersecurity managers can exist within multiple industries. You can talk about automotive, manufacturing, oil and gas, but even you can get into entertainment. There can be cybersecurity engineers for organizations like Disney, and the NBA and the NFL. So, you know, this role ranges many different organizations because everybody has some level of digital infrastructure, whether data or operations that they're attempting to protect. So many have cybersecurity managers embedded, many industries have cybersecurity managers embedded within their organizations. So let's get into some of the requirements for this role. We're gonna talk about some of the job requirements here. I'm gonna hit three different areas, degrees, certifications, and experience. Let's start off with degrees. 67% of all open jobs for cybersecurity managers, 67% require a bachelor's degree. 21% of those require a graduate level degree, whether a master's or a PhD, and 12% do not require bachelor's or master's or anything higher for those roles. This right here tells you or tells us that, hey, typically a cybersecurity manager would have some level of a bachelor's or associate's degree before they jump into the cybersecurity manager role at a minimum. So typically this is a degreed type of role. Another one is certifications. Now these range, right? Because organizations, there are some who are heavily looking at that experience, but there are others that have some level of foundational certifications that they look for, for their managers. Some of the most common certifications that I've seen for cybersecurity managers have been one, the CISM, which stands for the Certified Information Security Manager. That's the certification that's very common on a lot of job postings, whether on Indeed or LinkedIn, um, another one that I've seen is the SANS GSLC certifications. I actually have this one. It stands for the GX Certif Security Leadership Certification. Another one that is very common for security, whether um, at entry level or even senior level, you will see a lot of individuals with the CompTIA Security Plus certification. And probably the most common and the most popular certification for cybersecurity managers is the CISSP, which stands for the Certified Information Systems Security Professional. So those are a list of the certifications there that are very common for cybersecurity managers. Another one is experience. How long do you have to have been in cybersecurity in order to jump into a cybersecurity manager role? On average, I've seen five to 10 years from job postings, from knowing individuals in the field, and even from my own experience, about five to 10 years. So this is not a entry level role. Um, it typically involves some level of senior seniority within your experience in cybersecurity, having a very foundational and solid knowledge base. One thing that's very integral in landing and being successful in the role of a cybersecurity manager is that of really understanding the foundational concepts in cybersecurity. And today's sponsor has a cybersecurity bootcamp that can provide you with that. Introducing Springboard. Let's dive into what their program offers and how they can prepare you to jump into the pathway of becoming a cybersecurity manager. In a world where digital cybersecurity is paramount, your skills can make a difference. Springboard's cybersecurity career track offers you the gateway to becoming a hero in this digital realm. 
With Springboard, you're not just learning, you're preparing to lead. Their comprehensive online courses are crafted by industry leaders, ensuring you're job ready from day one. No experience, no barriers, no problem. The personalized mentorship program and real world projects simulate the challenges you'll face in cybersecurity and equipping you with the expertise to jump head first into the field. Join the ranks of Springboard alum who've catapulted into their careers with top tech companies. Springboard's support doesn't end with education. They guide you until you land that dream job with their job guarantee clause if you meet certain career or certain criteria. Take the leap with Springboard and transfer your passion into a profession. For a limited time, dive into cybersecurity with $1,000 off of your cybersecurity Springboard Bootcamp course. Just use the code in the description section and the first comment in the comment section. Your future in cybersecurity is awaiting. Are you ready to unlock it? Enroll now and secure your place in the digital safeguarding elite. Let's continue our conversation about cybersecurity managers. Let me give you a couple of examples of what a cybersecurity manager would do from a day to day and some of their overall job responsibilities in the form of a couple of scenarios. So let me give you example one. Example one, you're a cybersecurity manager and you are responsible for any type of incident response activities for the organization that you're working for. So in this scenario, let's say this is happening. Imagine a scenario where an organization's systems are breached by ransomware. There's a ransomware attack, right? Someone clicked on a link and ransomware is, is, is going crazy within the organization. Say for instance, you work for a bank. They're coordinating with all the cybersecurity teams, the IT teams, in order to isolate all of the affected systems that have been compromised by the ransomware. One thing that this cybersecurity manager would also do is that they will oversee all the forensic analysis and determine the source of the breach and also work to bring that business and bring those systems back up to business running status. The cybersecurity manager typically would lead all these efforts in the event of a breach or an incident within an organization. They would also help to train up and to equip their teams to be able to better defend against those type of attacks in this example, ransomware, in future incidents. So a cybersecurity manager typically is coordinating with a lot of teams. They are directing and giving instruction on what to do and to better bring an organization from an infected or a compromised system or a compromised status to back to business operations. So that's one of the responsibilities and something that you might see within the role of a cybersecurity manager. Let's go on to our second example. This one is working with third party vendors. That's something that's very common because Organizations typically don't do everything in-house, but they'll work and coordinate and hire in third-party vendors and contractors in order to do certain pieces of work. So in this example, cybersecurity manager is responsible for assessing, selecting, and managing a third-party vendor for an EDR solution, right? Endpoint detection and response. So one, several of the responsibilities here, and it gets into a little bit of depth, is gathering all the requirements that are necessary. You have to understand all the systems that you have in place, within your digital infrastructure for your organization to gather all the requirements, you will do your market research. You gotta understand what vendors are out there that offer this particular service or offer this particular tool that aligns and, and, and integrates well with your current digital environment for your organization. Another one is writing an RFP, right? A request for proposal. So you'll take um, and write out all the requirements, you'll write a proposal and, and you'll ship that out to different vendors who might be able to provide that service or that product. You evaluate the proposals with a team of individuals, right? You, 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 you have access to whatever the financials, whatever budget that you have for this tool, and then you will make a vendor selection and then you work with that vendor in order to implement that solution that in this case, an EDR solution within your environment. Not only that, you got to train up your, your staff in order to be able to use that tool effectively in defending against the bad guys. I mean, it's a lot that's going on here, right? So there's regular management of that contract. So a lot of times contracts they have, they have um, expiration dates. So you as a cybersecurity manager would have to make sure that you evaluate the effectiveness of that EDR solution for your environments. If your people are able to use the tool, if there's upgrades. So you, a lot of times you are not only bringing in a third party vendor, but you are also managing all the activities around that tool or around that solution that you brought in. So this is another responsibility of a cybersecurity manager. And the third one that I wanna talk about, this one is much lighter, right? This is a cybersecurity manager who is responsible for people. Many times you have direct reports, so you'll have to do annual reviews. You'll have to make sure that your people are trained up in the skill sets that are needed to defend your organization from today's threats. You also have to be able to almost be like a career coach. 
that's something that I'm very involved in is that I manage individuals who are very senior, right? So these individuals don't really need any type of micromanagement or hand holding. A lot of times I'm there to counsel them, to give them resources, to assist them in any of the efforts that they are needing help in. So a lot of times you have to be a career counselor. You have to understand people, right? You have to be able to read the room and also deal with at times anything that might be happening in people's lives. Right. Today, 2024 is a crazy place. We just came out of 2020, 2021 with the pandemic. And many people have been experiencing things in their personal lives that uh, has affected their work. So as a cybersecurity manager, you have to be able to manage people's situations at home that so that they're able to be the most successful at work. So those are three different examples that I just gave of some of the responsibilities and examples for what a cybersecurity manager might deal with on a day to day basis. Let's get into the thing that you all probably want to look for mainly here, and it's as it concerns salaries. What are the salaries for cybersecurity managers? Um, after I've done some research through uh, Forbes had given some information, also the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, they said that the average salary for a cybersecurity manager is around one hundred and fifty nine hundred and forty three thousand dollars on average. You know, these salaries range based upon location, experience and industry. But on average, you're making around one hundred and fifty one thousand dollars. Whopping, right? Great salary, well compensated salary for an individual who is a cybersecurity manager. So this might be a direction that you might want to go. This is typically the first level of leadership within cybersecurity. So that is a very good salary there for individuals looking to pursue that career path. Well, don't only take my word for it and the research that I've done, but let's go to another resource from a website called CyberSeek, which gives us more information about these salaries and responsibilities of cybersecurity engineers. So this is the CyberSeek website, where here you see that there are multiple career paths that they present here, right? So the cybersecurity career path, and this link will be here in the description section or the, uh, yeah, the description section of the website. And then it says, there are more opportunities for workers to start and advance their careers in within cybersecurity. So here we are specifically talking about the cybersecurity manager role where they identify this as the advanced level. So let's go ahead and click here. And what happens when you click on one of the items here in CyberSeq, it gives you more information about that role here at the bottom. So for my research, I found that they said that it was around $150,000, $151,000 a year. Here CyberSeq is polling current job openings and they're seeing an average of more there at the 160 or so range. So right within that 150 to 160 range, which is great. So this link will be here in the description section, and it gives you even more information about some of the items that we already covered as it concerns degrees and certifications and skill sets. Let's also jump over here to, to LinkedIn. LinkedIn is another great resource which speaks about cybersecurity salaries. And here we're specifically talking about cybersecurity salaries for managers. So here I have the cybersecurity manager in the description or the search. And then I put around that 140 K because that in, is somewhere around that. So they give a range here typically for these roles in LinkedIn. So here we're seeing with Booz Allen, a commercial cybersecurity zero trust architect or senior manager. They're having a range of 130.4 to 259, right? A manager of information security. You remember I said that that's another name, right? That's another name of InfoSec or information security manager. They have a 137 to 155, right? So we're starting to align, right? We have another one, a data security initiatives manager, a 123 to 159, right? Okay. And, and that's one thing that we saw is that there's a range here that I mentioned that it can be on that lower end where we're seeing that 123. And here we're seeing a 159, 160 or so. We see minerals technologies. I've never even heard of this organization and they have a pretty large range here, 160 to 207. So you can get into those 200 ranges for cybersecurity managers. We're even having here for NVIDIA, very popular within the text field right now, um, where it says an automotive cybersecurity manager for the Drive OS. They have a 180 to 339.2K salary. Now this is, as you see, this is in California, Santa Clara, California. So there's a higher cost of living associated with the place that's offering this, this role. But I did want to do an overview of some of these roles, right? Some of the salaries that we're seeing here, and it's pretty consistent, right? Somewhere on the average of that 150 K. But we also see from what we're looking at here is that it even goes higher to some of those twos. And even for Nvidia, we see it goes over to the 300 range. So just wanted to share that with you because the money is out there for these roles. And this is a very 
um, great role if you're looking for some level of compensation. Again, like I mentioned, five to 10 years or so on average for what the cybersecurity manager roles are offered. So I'll be providing you with all of those resources here within the description section. And really that brings us to the end of our video. We've talked about a lot of things. We did a description of cybersecurity managers. We talked about the level of experience, the certifications, the degrees that are seen there on average. We talked about salaries. We even spoke about Springboard, which offers a cybersecurity bootcamp, which will gain you those fundamentals of becoming a cybersecurity manager, which will launch you on that career path to getting this role. Thank you all for coming through. And if you have any questions or concerns, throw them there in the description section. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and put the notification bell on so you can get more and more of this content. Thanks again for coming to Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. And hopefully this has alleviated one of your struggles of understanding what a cybersecurity manager role really is. Okay, until next time.